what's going on everybody I hope you guys are all doing well I'm Jamal and welcome to my YouTube channel now today is actually a really exciting day despite the rain here in Texas I don't know if you can tell it's raining today of course the one day I want to do something and always rains but anyways today we're finally we're finally getting the long tubes which is in this big box we're finally getting the long tubes put into the Corvette and then we're also getting a clutch put in so the clutch I went with was the McLeod RST. The street clutch is rated up to 800 horsepower. My car has about 145,000 miles on it now, and I think it's still the OEM clutch. So, obviously, that's going to be no good for when I uh, put the long tubes in. And then, obviously, or eventually, I'm going to cam it, too, here in a couple weeks, hopefully. So, that stock clutch is going to be no good. I think it already is starting to slip a little bit when driving, like, hard. I can feel that pedal get mushy. So, um... The clutch is going to go in. We're taking the clutch to the shop. Um, I know a lot of you guys wanted to see the long tube install video, but the shop I'm taking it to, the guy said that it was only going to be like $100, $150 extra or something like that to put the long tubes in. So I'd rather just pay him to do it than me having to go through all the trouble of doing that. So I'm sorry for everyone that wanted to see a DIY long tube video. Maybe someday I'll make one, but for mine, I don't think I'm going to do it just because I think it it would be easier just to pay somebody to do it rather than me having to do it. So those that's a long tube. Here's a whole bunch of stuff. Here's a whole bunch of stuff for the like the slave is there, rear main seal, speed bleeder line, um, and then all the clutch bolts here too as well. And here is the clutch. It's a McLeod, like I said. The RST, rated up to 800 horsepower, steel billet flywheel. I actually bought this used for 500 bucks, and the guy had only used it for like a couple thousand miles. I think it was like four or five thousand miles, because he converted to an automatic, I guess for drag racing. And so I was able to pick this one up for a really good deal, which is what I had I wanted. I was gonna go with the LS7 clutch, but this is a way better clutch, and it was around the same price, so I bought that one. So now I gotta load all this stuff up, and then we're gonna head out. Oh, also, as far as the log tubes I went with, I went with the Henson 178 uh, off-road X-pipe uh, long tube headers. They're black ceramic coated. I got them. I was gonna buy these new. They were like 830 bucks new, and they're made here in the USA, which isn't a really bad deal, if all things considered. But I ended up finding them used on a Facebook page for 600 bucks, so I immediately jumped on that. I've had them for a while actually. I just uh, figured I'd wait till I had the money to do everything at once instead of like having to pay for two tunes so hopefully when they get installed here just I'm gonna drive around untuned for just a couple of weeks probably like two or three weeks and then I'm gonna go get the car cam and then that's when we're gonna tune it for everything that we're gonna put on it so uh, I gotta load all this stuff up like I said and then we'll head out
I finally got my car back. Today is Tuesday. I got my car back last Saturday, but I haven't had a chance to make a follow-up video until today. Um, the, as you guys know, the car went in the shop. I don't know if I said it was last Wednesday, and then it was out Saturday, and now it's Tuesday, and I'm filming this follow-up video. So, like I said, we put the long tube headers in, and we got the clutch in finally. Now, with the clutch, the clutch feels solid. Before, every time I did a pull, the clutch would feel really squishy after the pull. The car has higher mileage and like basically anytime I did a pull the car would feel like really spongy and squishy until like I had to give it a few pumps and then the pressure would finally come back. Now that's not an issue, thank, thank God. Um, as far as the long tubes go, they're Hinton 178s, Catless, off-road X-Pipe, uh, long tube headers as I previously mentioned. Um, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. I have some stuff to show you guys here. So one thing I did with the clutch was I installed a, a speed bleeder here. It's basically a line so I can bleed the clutch. And instead of having to like, like the method that I showed y'all before works as well, but it doesn't work nearly as well as just bleeding the actual clutch fluid out and then putting some new one in. So that's there. If you're ever gonna replace your clutch, I always recommend doing this. This is like a $50 part right here. And it goes a long way when you're trying to uh, bleed your clutch fluid. Now, as you can see down in here, those are the long tube headers. They're black ceramic code. They're used though, so obviously you can tell they're a little bit scratched up and stuff. Not that big of a deal. You also might notice there's MSD wires now, which um, the my mechanic told me that whenever he was pulling the old wires off, uh, a lot of them broke, or like three of them broke. So. We just went ahead and put MSD wires in there. It's really good, uh, really good wires. Though they don't touch the headers, which is a good thing, and uh, they're they're a little bit better than stock. Honestly, couldn't be more happy with the way the car is now. It's so loud. I freaking love it. The clutch feels amazing, which is a good thing. The clutch is also rated at 800 horsepower. So when I do the when I do do the cam here in a bit, um, it'll hold all the power, no problem. I'll put some pictures in right now of the car that was on the lift. Um, there's also a picture of the stock clutch and uh, just some uh, a pic here's a picture underneath the car of the x-pipe so now hopefully in the next couple of weeks the car will get the cam right now it's untuned so I have a check engine light for both the rear o2 sensors which you know that's expected because the car is catless now and it's it's uh, it's gonna throw that check engine light but anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with a few revs. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm so sorry again that I couldn't do a DIY header install video. Who knows, later I might have a buddy or somebody that's willing to uh, have me tag along with them and I might be able to film a DIY video for y'all. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.